Hi, Mike Schiller here, Senior Director of Supply Chain with ARM, and I'm here to talk with you today about the secrets of successful collaboration. CQO, the triple aim, and partners in prevention and health promotion. ARM launched the CQO movement back in 2013 around the tenets of cost, quality, and outcomes in direct response to today's value-based healthcare environment. This is similar to the framework that IHI, the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, launched around the reduction of per capita cost, the improvement of patient populations, and the improvement of the patient experience. Aligning with CQO and the triple aim requires systems thinking. To achieve the three-pronged goal of the triple aim, the healthcare system would need these five components. The supply chain professional understands systems thinking better than most in the healthcare profession. The supply chain professional is key to this process and it should create a compelling value that includes examples of leading practices and metrics. So let's talk a moment about the redesign of primary care services and structures. Be prepared to not only expand the scope, but also to expand the focus, supply chain, operating at the intersection of cost, quality, and outcomes, is in the best position to influence the continuum of care. Suppliers, as partners to providers, should be the first to accept these challenges. In looking at prevention and health promotion, we need to consider the following. Ask suppliers how they can help bring best practices. Remind suppliers they are in the best position to share leading practices as they are involved with hundreds of hospitals every day. Every supplier should have a process designed to share leading practices with their sales reps. And these sales reps should have a des designated process identified to share these leading practices with the supply chain professionals that they call on. As providers are rewarded, suppliers will benefit as the adoption of product and services broaden. In addition to HCAP scores and CMI per adjusted discharge, we also need to consider the four domains of value-based purchasing. Clinical care, person and community engagement, efficiency and cost reduction, and safety. Outcomes data includes case studies, white papers, leading practices that can be shared broadly across the healthcare field. Suppliers also need to follow the patient. In today's healthcare environment, we are moving to a continuum of care as opposed to a location of care. And suppliers need to learn to follow the patient through that continuum of care to better understand how their products are used in each of the various care settings along that continuum of care. That spans from the acute care setting all the way through to the home health care setting. For more education like this, please visit the ARM Learning Center. Thank you.